What's up guys? Welcome to Gamer Kanai Bangalore. We are live from the show floor for the final and biggest event of the year. I'm your host Captain Arya and with me my best friend on the show floor Nikhil SK Brutality. How's it going? What's up guys? Excited man. Finally in my home turf mm -hmm. meeting people that I play with I don't know for the past 10 odd years and everyone under one for you. yeah everyone under one roof all these familiar faces I'm like I'm excited I'm pumped it's like what 800 odd people already yeah and yeah it's like it's insane and it's amazing to see it come together we've been working night and day for the last week we slept only a couple of hours last night but it's amazing to see the fruits of all that labor come together with this amazing event but as always, Gamer Connect isn't just an event on its own. It's a collaboration between some of the biggest gaming brands in the country coming together to put on an amazing show for gamers in different cities. Bangalore, of course, is the final destination. There have been 13 others before this. This is the 14th Gamer Connect. And one partner that has been with us throughout has been Dell Alienware. These guys have obviously been at the top in the notebook market. They've been working tirelessly on the eSports front as well. We've got a special guest from their side, in addition to our favorite Dell person, Ashish. How's it going, man? Very well. How's oh, you? You're going to use the mic. All right. Yeah, yeah, I will use it. <laughs> so how's it going? How's the atmosphere in Bangalore? Well, it can't get better than this. You know, Bangalore, hometown, the crowd is amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, as the door opened, you can see people rushing. Yeah. Can't just get better than this. We also had a special visit from the mayor of Bangalore earlier today to open up the event for gamers. So that was a special moment, having someone so important uh, endorse an event of this stature. Right, and, and she has good inputs and takeaways. Mm -hmm. You know, she was talking about how the youth is going to... Yeah, I couldn't uh, understand. <laughs> so I, I know, a little bit that I could understand. She was talking about how youth is going to you know, absorb the gaming or an environment on what could be the job opportunities in the future because you know, gaming is not just about playing right now. Mm -hmm. It's also becoming a career mode. Absolutely. You know, right from development you know, to the support that we're getting and you know, the, the sales team that is growing. So everywhere, there's, you know, gaming as an industry is kind of growing and creating a lot of jobs and that was major what the mayor was also talking about. Absolutely. Tell me a bit about uh, Dell Alienware, what people can expect from you guys at Gamer Connect Bangalore. Nothing less uh, from Alienware uh, than anywhere else that you can find in. You know, you're going to have the top-notch models available here in Bangalore. Come have an experience, get a hands-on uh, you know, feel with your uh, favorite games. Uh, and some new games as well. Uh, right. We've got Just Cause 4 running here. Uh, we've got Fortnite, we've got Counter-Strike, we've got PUBG Challenge and you guys have brought in a special guest for us, or guests rather, this time around. Most of them. I mean, you have the uh, the team brutality with us, mm -hmm. so we're going to just put them in. Uh, yeah. Or, I, I mean, well, if he gets well, free, that we, is. If we can just pan to Ankit over here. Uh, he's uh, busy as always. Man's got fans in every corner of the country. There isn't a personality oh. in gaming in <laughs> India who is popular all over, guys. Ankit Venampanth from Team Brutality. How's it going? Much, much, oh, much. Go. Yeah. It's going good, yeah, and it's always a pleasure being hey. next to you, <laughs> draining your energy, taking it inside me because I have two days to go. But uh, how's the atmosphere in Bangalore? Atmosphere at Gamer Connect has always been electric, to be frank. Um, I have seen this grow and uh, every time there are so many people, be it modders, professional players, streamers, and uh, this is always obviously helping the growth of uh, esports or gaming mm -hmm. in uh, all. And I'm uh, really thankful to guys at NVIDIA and you know brands like Alienware Dell who are helping this to grow and uh, get more uh, people into this and let them know that gaming is growing in the country and what all you can do in gaming. I, ha I, I think this is the first time we're having workshops also yes, over here. Yes, exactly. You know, Ankit's been leading by example how to be a true professional when it comes to gaming, balancing your life, what to do, what not to do, setting a great example for young kids all over the country and that's why this time we've teamed up with Dell Alienware to have special workshops on both Ankit's personal journey as a gaming uh, you know, professional and influencer and a full workshop with Team Brutality talking about how tough it is to get into esports, what you need to do, how to go about it. So there's a lot to look forward to, Ankit. Thank you for making out the time Thank to you. come with us. Thank you, Ashish, as a always. Pleasure, as always. All right. Thank you. So, I'm back. He's back. <laughs> so, for those of you that may or may not know this, this guy is one of the best PUBG players in the country. I think season after season, you've made it top 10, top 5. And pretty uh, pretty much. I mean, I've put in about, what, 1,700 uh, hours Oof. in the game. I think I mean, I, it's I think safe I, to say we're all put in that much time. Yeah. It's just that but, I but was... But there's a difference, right? Yeah. I put in the same amount of time. It's only there's like 100,000 people between him <laughs> and me. So, but how do we 
get more people hooked on to PUBG PC because PUBG Mobile is definitely all over the place, right? See, that's right. I mean, we, we really can't argue with the fact that PUBG Mobile's taken over. Mm -hmm. uh, 30 million odd players in the country, every corner, like street, metros, <laughs> Bus stops, like my, my Uber supermarket, driver. My Uber, Uber driver, driver yeah, like cinemas he's, he's everywhere. I walked him. He's like, oh, he didn't come to me. Why? Because he was playing PUBG. So see, the good thing is um, that's that's the potential of converting these people into PC. And mm -hmm. the reason they don't experience it is because PUBG requires good hardware, yep. right? It's not going to run on like what we generally call a potato PC. It's yeah. going you're going to struggle. You're not going to enjoy it. So at Gamer Connect, when you have a display like this, 16 PCs, mm -hmm. right? Equipped with like top of the line hardware, top of the line peripherals. This is what this is our chance of like reaching out to these masses and mm -hmm. saying, "Hey, why don't you try PUBG PC?" And that's exactly what's happening here because this yeah. boot's been full probably like from so the time yeah. it's open. So, it's, it's, so th there's there's two special things about this boot. So one, we've got an amazing huge PUBG setup. Sorry, uh, we've got a total of 16 PCs here. Yeah. Uh, no, 12 PCs. Sorry. 12 PCs. 12 here. PCs running PUBG PC. So that means you can come play PUBG PC, you can bring your squad and play PUBG PC. If you haven't tried PUBG PC yet, it's the best way to start off. Why? Because not only have we teamed up with one of the best cafes in Bangalore, Rex Esports, to put together this booth, Corsair helped out with a full yeah. set of premium accessories here. You've got nothing short of mechanical keyboards, top of the line mice, mouse pads, headsets, to make sure people trying out PUBG have nothing but the best experience. But that's not all. We know PUBG is a demanding game. You yeah. know it. You're on a 1080. And 1080 right now. Sometimes <laughs> with the, the next PUBG update, it still stutters for you. Right. So we've gone out, teamed up with NVIDIA to make sure <laughs> it is the best place to play PUBG. We've got PCs with Titan XPs. All 12 PCs. Corsair peripherals, 144 hertz monitors from LG, and of course Titan XPs. Uh, so that's the best way to start so up with PUBG. That's the thing, right? A lot of people uh, miss out on these small elements, mm -hmm. right? Whether it be like LG monitors, you missed out, 144 hertz. You're not going to enjoy PUBG on like a 60 hertz screen. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, like you haven't really seen the rest of it, right? Then when you put, when you club like the Rex Esports PCs with the Titan X, you need that monitor mm -hmm. to support and then you need the peripherals. Like a lot of people I've seen, they, they don't use mouse pads or they're yep. okay with it because they're like, yeah, hey, well, I'm comfortable. Or are but they using one of those... Uh, you know, office mice, not office the mice, mice. Yeah, so it makes a huge difference. Like the Corsair keyboards here, the, the response time, mm -hmm. the feedback you get, all because that counts. A lot of people have second. never gamed on a mechanical keyboard yep. before, right? So all of that put together gives gamers an amazing experience like never before. And, and this is the package, right? This is where you know all the elements are there. You've got the big GPU, you've mm -hmm. got the like you know top of the line specs on the PCs, you've got the best peripherals and the best monitor. So this is like the ideal platform. Gamer Connect just provides that ideal platform for all new players, existing players, and players who you know probably have low end PCs and they want to try it out. Yeah. Perfect and, opportunity. And, and we knew PUBG would be one of the most popular boots. So we put it right at the door. <laughs> so you just enter, you're like, oh, oh, you know, I know that. Let's go. I, let's I think go I think that was something to do with our PUBG mobile strategy as well. <laughs> it's just like ex Moment they enter, that's the big yeah, distraction. Like the, yeah, the PUBG PC <laughs> Before they take their awesome. phones and log into PUBG Mobile, are like, now nah, look this up. Absolutely. So you got this crazy PUBG PC here, but the talk of the town right now isn't PUBG. The latest AAA game making the waves is Battlefield 5. Of course, it's EA's next entry into the ma massive franchise that is Battlefield, but more importantly, is the first game that takes advantage of Nvidia's RTX GPUs. Right. And RTX GPUs have enabled real-time ray tracing for the first time on graphics cards. Earlier, it took hundreds of hours of rendering to do that for movies, but now you can do it on your GPU. And with Battlefield 5's latest update, there's a, like up to a 50% performance boot. So we've got RTX PCs around the venue running Battlefield 5 on ray tracing, but we said, all right, not everyone wants to game with Battlefield yeah. 5 with RTX on. So we've put up probably India's biggest Battlefield 5 Experience Zone in partnership with Logitech and LXG. 16 PCs 16. all running <laughs> Battlefield 5. So you come, you come with your friends, you come make new friends, or you just enjoy the single player yourself. You've and been doing a lot of Battlefield as well. So that's the thing. It, uh, the RTX or, or RTX on and off argument that goes on like endlessly. I get it. 
you're the side which enjoys yeah. RTX on. You you want the real lifelike images. You want the I'm reflections. The you you RTX like on. immersive gameplay, yeah. right? And then there's me. This I love FPS. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the best of both worlds here. Mm. We've got the RTX PCs on all the other boots, and then we have just the hardcore battlefield crowd who's just like, you know what? I want to get in there. Mm. I want to like fast pace, get some kills, get my FPS. I'm good. That's exactly what this is doing. And Logitech. Let's 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 and give this, a this big. Reason. You yeah. Know why we went logic? Of course, it's the first time they're here at Gamer Connect, and what a time to be here! Uh, for those of you that don't know, Logitech is actually the global Battlefield 5 accessory or peripheral partner. Uh, I think they're G Pro, their keyboards yep. and uh, the headsets as well. Uh, you get Battlefield 5 variants. Hmm. Here we've got a full set of uh, Logitech's best offerings in India: mouse pad, keyboard, mouse with all different mice. Right? You yourself have been using Logitech for a few years. So recently, I swapped to the G502 Hero. Oh, the Hero. Yeah, I, I am taking that, that out of the box. That yet. is an impressive mouse. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, in the start, it was on the heavier side. I had to get used to it. But oh my god, like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, man. It's like the most precise mouse I've used in a while. I'm definitely looking forward to the G Pro Wireless, which is also here. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So that's a big surprise. I mean, it's it's here, G Pro Wireless for everyone to experience. And if you're here, gamer can I don't miss out and also the headphones it's, oh, it's yeah. one of the most different like headphones i've seen Just they're, they're very the, light they're you know, light that, that's what i the, like the, the texture of the material around it the right it's, it's not like it's not the traditional leather cups or anything mm -hmm. this is like mesh, that mesh. It's it's and you can you can like game for a long time i was sitting for an hour i think without like any sweat formation whatever mm -hmm. that's a huge thing because in this weather and you know, just in and around India, you need something like that. Absolutely. And let's not forget about the keyboards. Uh huh. Because they've got some of the best keyboards on the those market. Those wireless keyboards. <laughs> you know, it's like everyone's been saying, "Oh, wireless myth." Like, oh, it'll never Logitech be competitive. They made it work. They right? made it work. Yeah, that's what I said. It's, it was. It's a myth for such a long time. They said it'll never ent enter mm -hmm. competitive, and now we see like the most popular streamers, most popular esports player, yeah. everyone on the Logitech G Pro series, which is. I don't know, it's like a game changer right now. And wh what's great is um, most gamers wouldn't really get an opportunity to try these things out, right? If I want to hypothetically buy a car, I can go test drive it. <laughs> right? If I want a phone, I can go check it out. If I want to buy a keyboard or a mouse, I have to go to a friend who has it. And right. no, 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 the most you can see is one of those boxes where you can just like yeah, yeah, <laughs> look can, at it. <laughs> you can touch it. Right, that's so pretty it's, much it. It's, it's kind of difficult to get hands on. And there's a difference between having an open product and actually playing on that yeah. product. And here we're letting people try out the latest and greatest games running on the best hardware, running different sets of peripherals with, from different partners across the venue. Yeah. So it's a great chance to try out these new things. Because that's the thing, right? It's always the experience first. Mm -hmm. Like you said, even the car example, the moment you experience it, you're like, in your mind, you've made 50% of the decision. Yeah. Right? When you touch and feel a product, in your mind, there's something like sparks, and 50% of your buying process is already done there. Mm -hmm. And when you have a setup like this, where you can sit and possibly game for like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and I don't know if you can keep coming back. And then come back and do it again. Event, and you've got options, mm -hmm. right? This is like, so, okay, this is you know, one I, of those I, car I, showrooms which has every on model. I keyboard last time, <laughs> this time I want to play on that one. So it, it's it's a big up, and that's why I like tell all my friends or community, come to Gamer Connect, because Yes, they're all like, oh, it's just a bunch of games in, in under one venue. But I'm, I'm like, these products, you'll never get to experience. I think we're now at a point where there's at least like a 15, 20 minute wait at every single booth. You've got people lining up all around the venue. That's because uh, my, si my city is waking up now. <laughs> oh yeah, Bangalore is not going to wake up in the morning. I, I, was, I was saying, right, 11 onwards is when you're going to see everyone show up. Because yeah. it's Saturday, it's Kormangla, all mm -hmm. the youngsters are going to chill out, wake up. And it's going to fill up. Yeah. Now, speaking of uh, new products, one of the most important parts of a gaming setup is your monitor. Why? Because that defines how you're going to play, whether you're looking to just enjoy the experience, whether you're looking to compete seriously. And for a long, long time, you had to choose between having an experience-oriented setup or uh, a performance-oriented setup, yeah. right? Whether you want resolution or FPS, to put it in simpler terms. Yeah. And LG has been a brand that has offered both, and they've been providing some of the best gaming monitors out there. Uh, you and I have both been using them. Yep. But this year is very special because LG launched a new sub-brand sub -brand, yep. called Ultra Gear. They've been making gaming monitors earlier, but now they will be dedicated subdivision in LG called Ultra Gear, working day in, day out 
on gaming products. And this is great because they're going to be refining the products, improving and giving a lot of new stuff. And we've already got that on show here. Now one of this guy's biggest asks for the last two years has been, somebody give me a 2K 140 per <laughs> hertz monitor. LG's like, here. And it has G-Sync. Because the worst part is... And the like, backlight. Yeah, I, I got used to a 2K, uh, I think it was a 60 hertz. Yeah. You know, one of my older monitors. And for the longest time I asked you, right, I said, does LG make this? Does <laughs> LG make this? And you were like, no. It was it was either the 21, 24 or ultra wide. Mm -hmm. And all three which are like, I cannot get used to at this mm -hmm. point in time. Because I'm spoiled yeah. at that 27, 2K brilliant mm -hmm. resolution. I don't know why all my games look insane. It looks so much more clearer, more pixels. And then the LG color. Like, oh, yeah. The moment I switch to a damn so, LG so see, here's, monitor. <laughs> here's the thing, you know, previous generation gaming monitors usually shipped with TN panels. You know, that's uh, to get the higher refresh rate, but you're sacrificing a lot on color and quality. Now you've got IPS or even better panels coming in slowly. Some I can't tell you about right now. But there's a lot of great stuff all on IPS coming from LG. They've got the ultra wide, uh, 2560, 1080, even higher than that. I don't know what it is. But I think uh, they're going to go crazy it's, because it's, it's going to be like two years from now, uh, projector 144 hertz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? It's, it's not <laughs> straight up. And, and they're, they're even coming out new variants of that 144 hertz monitor. So there's one above. And guess what? There's going to be one which is even more affordable even for gamers more affordable, that's yep. expected next year. And guess what? Gamers in Bangalore are playing on all these today across the venue. They might not even know they're playing on an unreleased monitor, but they are. And, uh, you know, it's great because LG also gets a lot of feedback no, on what like, they're doing I right, think, what they're doing I think wrong. one of the biggest uh, things what you were saying is when the sub-brand itself, mm -hmm. right? Now, they, it's not like a wide array of displays all across. Like you said, they, were, they had everything from budget to like mm -hmm. high-end. Now there's a sub-brand which they can focus on. And this is where the competitive pricing and the acceptance, all this is going to start in the next year. Because imagine like they, they start matching with the rest of the market, mm -hmm. right? Because they didn't before. Now yep. they will because they're going to focus on gaming completely. That's when we got to like tell people the importance uh, of a 144 hertz. Because believe it or not, I was on a 75 hertz for the longest yeah. time. And, and you I was better convinced. Than me. No, no, <laughs> I was convinced because better or worse, I was convinced that, hey, I was, this is good enough. But I was on a 1080 GPU that was probably putting out way more FPS and I was just not capitalizing. And the moment you showed me, okay, this is your upgrade. You should get it. Yeah. Changed. And, and, and I have both lined you know i'm not going to talk about the other brand which i have but i have both the monitors the lg and my older one and the color difference <laughs> is it's just like it's like digital vibrance on a hundred yeah <laughs> it's it's amazing you know there's a lot of great monitors from lg across the price spectrum from entry level 75 hertz uh, all the way to crazy premium stuff like an ultra wide g-sync uh, so you know and we're using we're all using a mix of these and we've got premium PCs running experiences on these uh, demonstrations and, all uh, over. Must I say, like, it's such a crowded booth. Oh, yeah. You, you, just <laughs> you guys can just look they're at like, the amount of people. They're like, we'll wait and watch because <laughs> it looks nice. Right? It's amazing what LG's done. But, you know, it's not just about these monitors. With, uh, you know, advancements in PC technology, PCs are also getting more powerful and smaller at the same time. Yep. And... We're great friends with the folks over at X-Ray, they're, you know, system integrator, oh, system yeah. builders, system right? Builders, yeah. they're, they're the only ones in the space doing crazy stuff in India. And X-Ray builds some of the most powerful small PCs in the country, if not the world. And aesthetically pleasing, yeah. must I add. So we spoke about monitors, but sometimes you just want something that's a little bit larger. And that's where TVs come in. And LG's got some amazing OLED TVs, um, and we've got... That, by the way, is not a console. There's a full desktop in there. And sometimes you get those mini ITX, micro ITX uh, parts, or uh, like you get mini PCs, which are more like notebooks yeah. that aren't just as powerful as a desktop. That is a full desktop with a cooler, everything in it. And it is powering that full TV gaming experience. So if you're looking for something in your living room, looking for something a bit more portable, x rig has got those crazy solutions. And they look good, man. I mean, That's I've seen I've, I've seen a Goku mod on there, and they do custom paint mm -hmm. jobs. They do all sorts of requests. So it, it helps, you know. You have a really good PC in your living room, which can probably play a wide variety of games mm -hmm. over your console, and you have the LG TV yeah. just like... And we've got a whole bunch of your, uh, you know, suited for large format games. you got your FIFA, you got your 
Tekken, uh, behind we've got WWE, inside we've got a full projector running FIFA 19 as and well. that has a very impressive mod as oh well. Oh yeah, that's got a crazy <laughs> mod. Now, we spoke about the new RTX card, right? They launched in August at Gamescom. Uh, RTX, it's not just like, hey, the next set of cards. It is the next level because you can do yep. so much more with these cards. They, they've got AI-enabled cores. They've got real-time ray tracing cores for you know those crazy reflections. And we've got a full booth dedicated to that. Along with all that, you've also got the raw power that comes in with the new uh, architecture, right? So we've got 4K PCs. We've got ultra-wide PCs and 4K PCs running Battlefield 5 with DXR, which is ray tracing on. So everything you'd want to experience. Now, a lot of these games, you can still play at your local cafe, but not yeah. like this. 2080 Ti's. <laughs> All around. <laughs> All around. Everywhere. And literally every single PC. Right? And, and the one they're there. pushing... I don't, know, I don't know how we spared one outside the system. As of last night, it wasn't, but it is now. There so, is one in there. Yeah, in that's display. the card right there. The RTX 2080, folks. You've got the 2070, the 2080, and the 2080 Ti. And like I said, Battlefield's the first game that features real-time ray tracing. It's also the first bundle for the RTX cards. If you pick up an RTX 2070, 2080, or 2080 Ti from either NVIDIA with the Founders Edition or one of the partners like Zotac, before January 7th, you can get Battlefield 5 with your GPU. So you've got the first real-time ray tracing game to and play. And with the Chapter 1 update, you, there's more reason to buy it now because that 50% performance hike, oh, it's huge. It's massive. It's actually true, guys. It works. I mean, it, it, there was a lot of, like, you know, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of forums, skeptical, yeah. all that stuff, all the comments, but See, this update at, at, at changed launch, that. It was a promise of a lot of things, but there were no games that featured it, right? Yeah. So naturally, people were like, hey, what's the point right now, apart from the performance food? But now we've got games. Uh, we've got Final Fantasy on the other side as well. The DLSS and the 4K texture pack just came out. Um, and that's going to be a huge, huge boost for everyone involved. Yeah. So Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. That texture update. I think spent, that was <laughs> spent like, uh, 23 hours downloading. That was a 60 gig yeah. update. And then we but, didn't have a space on the hard drive. Yeah, but that <laughs> was well worth it. Oh, yeah. Because it looks like a completely different game. I mean, and the performance backing it, right? You're not losing anything. You're gaining, oh, yeah. if not like, you're DLSS literally gaining like performance. Pure performance gain. Yeah, so you've got, I think, upwards of like 30 or 24 FPS, I think, already. Yeah. And the at game 4K, looks insane. Max yeah, at, at 4K, at 4K max out. And the game looks pretty right. amazing. Now, behind us, for the first time ever at Gamer Connect, folks, is the ILG Esports Zone. Now, SK, being, uh, you know, an esports player yourselves, uh, tell me, how it makes you feel to have something of this uh, scale in your city? So, this is what I've been looking at the whole time when <laughs> on the show floor walkthrough is my like, baby. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Because <laughs> it is a first for Gamer Connect, right? And uh, ILG has been doing a phenomenal job. Two seasons, this is the second season, this is the grand finale. 29 lakhs up for grabs over four different titles, which is CSGO, you've got Dota, you've got Overwatch and FIFA. So the to, all the finalists are here, all the finals are going to happen. So today we've got Overwatch and we've got uh, FIFA and uh, tomorrow is CS and Dota with the big guns. We've got teams like Signify, Global Esports, uh, we've got other Reckoning global Esports, e -sports. other global <laughs> esports. <laughs> so it's going to be an action packed day. I, I feel like tomorrow is going to be more action packed, but we've got the Overwatch boys going to like fight their heart out today. And uh, I think that they're going to be fighting for about five lakhs. Yeah, it's crazy. Which is, which it's, is insane. It's amazing what uh, you know, LXG has done in partnership with Logitech, LG, and NVIDIA. Because ILG, it's not your run of the mill esports, right? Every esport event in the country is the same. Yeah. They invite the top teams or only the top teams qualify, and that's about it. Um, ILG goes to your cafes. Literally goes all to local your, cafes, yeah. You know, everyday gamer who won't necessarily have a chance. Yeah to participate in an online qualifier, who won't necessarily know about an online qualifier, right? So it's quite amazing how they've taken esports, they've sort of democratized esports, taken it to the masses, giving every gamer a chance to compete and be in the spotlight. Because that's where it's at, right? I mean, your community is all going to grow from the cafe. Mm -hmm. And like you said, most of the big tournaments is, I mean, I get the point, you have to invite the big teams to get the big numbers, but what about all the amateurs, right? Okay. 
So, anyways, they're checking stuff here. That's our cue to move on. So, ILG is a big part. First time ever we've got an esports partner at Gamer Connect. Uh, but Logitech's our other first time partner. Now, our second first time partner, folks, are the nice folks over at Western Digital. Western Digital are, of course, leading storage solution providers. We know them for their hard drives, but lately they've been increasing their focus on gaming yeah. uh, with their WD Black M.2 SSDs. Now, and that's These... like capacity and performance. Yeah, so the, the form factor yeah. <laughs> right, takes it's, it's, absolutely it's no it's space. Amazing. It's like my pinky finger mm -hmm. and the speed. It's insane. Have you seen the load up times on these it's, things? It's nuts. Because I think I have set up like most of the WD booth and then when we loaded up the games, impressive. Mm -hmm. and it's, quite, it's quite crazy and, and WD has also you know, been a big support in terms of uh, supporting the cosplay contest we're going to be having. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be presenting the prize. There's going to be a ton of activities around their booth. Uh, they've got both Fortnite and PUBG running the two of the most popular games around. And there's like no shortage of people. There's like no space to stand in the WD booth right now. I mean, you, you put two of the best battle royals in one booth. That's exactly so what you're going to get. You've got Team Fortnite over here. You've got Team PUBG over here. And, then and, I, and I, did a, I did a sneaky way of putting PUBG between Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to like mess with them. Team PUBG. <laughs> then of course, uh, you know, no event would be complete without the local system integrators. Uh, we've got Ankit Infotech and Supercomputers. Uh, both whom are some, two of the top system integrators in Bangalore. Anything you need in the city, you can go to them. They will have it in stock. If not, they will arrange for it. Because I, I've dealt with Ankit in the past, mm -hmm. right? The guy knows what he's talking about. The best thing about having a local system integrator who's smart, mm -hmm. who knows PC, who knows gaming, it helps. Because you yeah. go to him, you say, hey, I want this. You might choose the wrong product, right? Because you probably Google some reviews and stuff like that. But you go to Ankit and say, hey, I want to do this. This is my PC. Yeah. And he suggests. Mm -hmm. He says, hey, for this performance, you're probably bottlenecking something. Like with my processor, for example, yeah. I was running an i5, but I had a 1080. I was bottlenecking it. But then you have a system integrator who knows his stuff. He, he tells you, hey, you need an i7. That's what's bottlenecking your yeah. performance. And it helps. And then they give you every single uh, product access. Hello. Yeah, many of my viewers have wanted to know what is Gamers Connect all about. Sure, this is awesome. All right, introduce yourself. Uh, so, myself, uh, Tanishka Garwal. Uh, all right. Uh, currently, my channel name is Tanishka Garwal, and uh, many of my viewers, and even uh, especially me, I wanted to know what Gamers Connect is all about. So, Gamer Connect is a gaming event. It's a set of some of the top gaming companies in India coming together. You've got NVIDIA, Dell Alienware, LG, Zotac, Corsair. All of these guys said, you know, we need to reach gamers. Yeah, yeah. Gamers need to be able to play on the latest hardware, not just hear about it, right? Not just see a video about it. They need to be able to play. And they also need a place to come meet up, yeah. right? We've got so many streamers here. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, uh, one more question. Do you do giveaways? Yes, there's a lot to be won, oh, folks. There is you a can, lot of giveaways. You just, giveaways. You just have to go to, go to each to booth, booth, take part. You can take part and you can stand a chance to yeah. win. And uh, you can chat with us online, tell your viewers about us, and we can get back to you there as well. Yeah. And uh, what about, uh, uh, means, uh, suppose Dell sponsors you, so uh, are they, means, uh, giving, if you sell some laptop, are uh, well, you? Well, we can you introduce can, you to yeah, Dell. You Everyone's can. very keen on working with other yeah, people. So, so if you, anything's possible. If you're, if you're selling anything, uh, is there a discount on the products? Or, uh, um, I don't know. Uh, you, you're free to check out. At Gamer Connect, of course, there are offers from you all have, the brands. If you have the app with you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. check, yeah, out, check the out the app. app. There are offers, be yeah. For those of you online, you can download the GamerConnect.in app and be queued into all the action. There's going to be offers throughout the day, quizzes, contests. So yeah. thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Uh, thanks. I hope you have a great time. Yeah. So, yeah. That you know, was, that was quite surprising. <laughs> it's, it's great to see new streamers. Of course, there's a lot of invited streamers who've come all the way from all across the country, SK. Uh, you helped bring here. We've got Cosmic YT, we've got Sick Warrior, we've got ITGC. I love those guys. Yeah. It, it's amazing how all these guys have made time to come to Gamer Connect. And, and they're going to be streaming live. Other than streaming, they're going to be launching some sweet merch. Ooh, yeah, secret Sweet, secret. sweet merch, right? Because. Keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably today, tomorrow, probably tomorrow. tomorrow, tomorrow. We're yeah. gonna, gonna hybrid up. There's gonna be a special up, live stream event. Start saving. <laughs> Cause yeah. he's, I've seen some of the designs, I've seen some of the mm -hmm. outputs now and they look pretty good. So the thing, you know, outside India, uh, 
Shimmers have their own uh, merch stores and whatnot. In India, nobody really has the time or interest to invest a bit in that. Uh, yeah. So Gamer Connect was like, you know what? We'll do it for all of you. And tomorrow we're going to have a special announcement with all the top streamers in the country. And you guys are going to be able to pick up some of their personalized merch. Straight yep. from so Gamer you'll Connect. find out more details tomorrow. But mm -hmm. that's what it is. Right? We use Gamer Connect as a platform for mm -hmm. these streamers, for these content creators. Whether It's like you need this. And yeah. uh, when they come meet their crowd, these meet and greets that they're having, mm -hmm. like our streamers, like uh, there's Cosmic, there's... Uh, Zaya, Robo, Sunny, mm -hmm. Sick Warrior, all of them are having meet ITGC, they're all having meetups and yeah. that's the overwhelming experience. When you meet your subscribers in person, it's completely different from you know chatting online or just reading their chat on stream. Yeah. So that helps, right? And uh, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We we fly in a few streamers here and there, even though uh, you know Sick is he's from Lucknow. Yeah. Cosmic from Chandigarh. See, Sick Warrior ITGC actually actually from like Delhi. Two connecting flights <laughs> over eight hours to be here. And that distance is like it's not easy to cover. They can't just like wake up one day and be like, oh, I'm gonna have a meet and greet. And that's what we aim mm -hmm. and aim to do at Gamer Connect. Have these meet and greets, get communities together, and you can see them at the streamer booth. They're gonna be streaming throughout the day, and uh, do check them out. All right. Now, one of our biggest partners this time for Gamer Connect is none other than Corsair. Now, these guys have always been involved with just a stall of their own, uh, you know, letting gamers experience some of their best products uh, at their booth. But this time, Corsair has gone over and above. They've helped, of course, support that massive PUBG booth, making it the most memorable experience for gamers in Bangalore. Yeah. They've got a, a staging area where you can try out every single Corsair product. Now, I said there's not many places you can just try it. Here, you can try it. And over there, you can game on it. You can game on you it. You can do both. They also, for the first time, I think, showcasing Elgato. Mm -hmm. uh, their stream decks, because recently, you know, Elgato and Corsair teamed up, and it's it's become like a full streaming content creating package, and impressive like that they're just displaying because Elgato yep. is a very premium product. Yep. As we like most streamers in India knew, we had to import it or get it on Amazon. It's just few pieces available. Yeah, and it used to be expensive, but we've got all price all, match. All of us picked it up at yeah. this card. <laughs> it was crazy, <laughs> right? Um, so I think if we can get somebody from Corsair, yeah, we got all right. We got Mannan from Corsair. Uh, he heads off sales for India. How's it going, Mannan? Going is good. How's how's Bangalore? Bangalore treating is you? awesome. Short, Bangalore short is flight awesome. for you from Hyderabad. Yeah, mostly I drive, but this time okay, I took a flight. Okay. <laughs> so, but how's the experience been so experience far? Experience is good. I think the crowd will build up. Mm -hmm. I think expectation it's, it's, it's is already been like the most people we've had before 12 o'clock ever right so it's it's massive the turnout so far early but as nikhil was saying you know gamers in bangalore they wake up slowly so yeah, we're going to see what. you know 11, yeah, everyone 12. is in the weekend mood yeah huh. we're going to see i think, some I think the, after an hour the uh, crowd is going to pick mm -hmm. up so we've got a massive selection of products from you guys this time yep. so you're displaying everything you have right right our focus is now shifted to peripherals okay so all our keyboards the flagship keyboards mm -hmm. uh, headsets and uh, as you know we have taken over elgato mm -hmm. so elgato is, this is the first time they're showing off elgato yes. as well and mm -hmm. is there going to be like more easier availability of elgato going yeah. forward yeah we already the uh, we have uh, got the first shipment 50% mm -hmm. stock has been sold so it's you know as, as a streamer myself uh, elgato products are a lifesaver especially the stream deck and if you speak to any of the streamers that have come here, I think all of them have at least a stream deck, if not a capture card as well. Right. So it's, it's great news if you're a budding streamer or uh, looking for something to make life a little bit easier, that Elgato products are going to be uh, you know, super easily available. Also, Corsair is supporting us with the mod section behind our final stop after this. Uh, thank you, Mandan. I hope Thanks. you have a great game Thanks, at Connect. Thanks, Thanks for taking out the time. Um, SK, mods. Mods, mods, mods. <laughs> He's like, wait, wait, let me think of what to say. Okay, now, there is no doubt that there are talented modders in India. But there's nothing really for modders to, uh, a platform for modders to showcase what they have or what they built. Now, we're not going to get into the hustle bustle of what's inside, but we give you a sneak peek of that first mod. Look at that. It's got a <laughs> motion sensor and it did it at the right time, like perfect. So we're going to bring you a full mod showcase, uh, you know, tomorrow. But Gamer Connect is now a platform for not just gamers, but modders, content creators. Uh, this is a modding contest where I think 10 mods from across the country are competing for the championship where Corsair is giving away some awesome limited edition stuff. And that's, the competition is fierce because, mm -hmm. like you said, the first mod you saw had a motion detector. Like, I'm like, what? Because 
it is it is important at least to be I, I like to have a good looking PC right oh, and yeah. then I, I spend unnecessary amounts on uh, having like this flashy mm. edgy PC right. and what what, yeah. what modders can do for you is the same like you know they can get you whatever design you want yeah, we're going to sneak it to Zotac till then tailor made mm -hmm. if i want i don't know a pubg pc tomorrow i can get probably promote to send me that buggy <laughs> there, there, there's another pubg mod over here another pubg then mod then of here. course we talked about x rig earlier they make some of the awesome small pcs you yeah. see around uh, gamer connect they're going to have some primo it's, it's there's, a, there's like a mod which is more powerful than the pc i use at home smaller than the ups i use at home it it's, it doesn't make <laughs> sense but it's there and the, it's, you know it's they're, they're literally playing, a Doom toaster. It's out. literally a toaster. It's smaller <laughs> than my toaster. I kid you not. It is and an amazing mod. And it's got an RTX created. in it. Yeah. It's, like it's got an RTX 2080 Ti. Now, we've spoken about GPUs. We've spoken about RTX. Now, as to the people who actually sell you that GPU. Of course, Founders Editions are some of the best cards you can get. Yeah. Um, but if you want a bit more power, a bit more cooling, and a whole lot more warranty, uh, there's folks like <laughs> Zotac that give you the best there is to offer. Zotac's been uh, one of the key partners for Gamer Connect over the last two years. 14 events, they've never let us down, always come through with GPUs and now PCs. Right, Zotac was always a GPU company, but yeah. now they're a gaming company. Last year we saw uh, the president, Mr. Ken Ho, come down, uh, launch the Z Box, Z -Box. There, and the Mech One. The Mech One's a thing of beauty. It's, I think we, we got a sneak preview on the ILG stage. Yeah. They're using uh, 12 Mech ones as like a full eSports solution. And mm -hmm. that's how powerful these devices mm -hmm. are. Small form factor, looks good. Got the whole RGB thing covered, performance covered. And it's perfect for people, people like him, yeah. who don't know what to do when choosing parts. They're just like, hey, I need a PC. And that's like, this is ready to go. Literally, you just plug it in, flip yeah. it on. It's, it's all it plug runs. and play. And it's, it's impressive that, you know, it comes with Windows as well comes with that big chunk warranty that you need because, mm. hello India. <laughs> and and uh, on-site service. On-site service so as you well, yeah. you don't have to go anywhere. Now, to talk to you guys a bit about the new products from Zotac, I'd like to call Mr. Deepak, head of Zotac India. He's looking rather fly today. How's it going, Deepak? Good man. How are you? Good, good. How's Bangalore been? Bangalore is always awesome. So usually he comes to NVIDIA's uh, office in Bangalore yes. and you know, that's just work. But this is like a fun trip to Bangalore, yes. isn't it? <laughs> this is a bit different with the business. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell us about your two new mech products. Let's let's take a sneak peek at them. Just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. We are bit. going to launch. Yeah. So on the we're, stage. We're, so for gamers in Bangalore at the venue, we're doing a full stage showcase yes. and unveiling. Yes. But for you guys online, we're going to give you a sneak peek at these. So that is the, the Mac, Mac Mini. Mini. All right, so that's a full desktop, full desktop PC with RTX. With an RTX. So we, you know, we we spoke about desktop smaller than toasters. Yes. You have another one from Zotac. Yes. And the Z Box was focused more on portability, less on high-end performance. Yes. But this is a full, full high-end yes. machine. This is a full high-end enthusiast machine, we mm -hmm. can say, because and, it's a full and it's running. Well, I think this is a 4K ultra wide monitor where it's running Hitman yes. 2. So, what specs can people expect and when can they expect to see it? Uh, I can tell you at 2 o'clock. At 2 <laughs> o'clock. All right. Well, you're going to have to tune into the GamerConnect.in app yeah. for a few yes. more updates on that. And then, of course, it's not just portable solutions, right? Yes. The Mac Mini, the Z Box, the Mac One. Yes. Focus is on portability. Yes. But Zotac's also like, you know, there's people who want performance without anything else, Correct. without any compromise. So here we have got a Mac Ultra. Ultra. Right. Tell me about this. This is massive. This is like a full, full tower cabinet. Yes. The full fledged PC for wow. super enthusiast. And it looks beautiful. It's not like, you know, they made a box, shoved yes. some it's, GPUs It's not like it. that. It have uh, a lot of options for the upgradability, mm -hmm. and it's a pure full gaming desktop PC. So let's take a look at it from this side over here. You can see on the inside, um, it's got a full Zotac GPU. It's not a blower fan. It's got the Zotac yes. cooling, uh, the higher clock speed. It's got a Zotac AIO cooler for the CPU yes. also. Yes. And of course, what good is a high-end PC without RGB? Yes, of course. And uh, 
This is only a one variant, so we have a four variant in this PC okay. with a different configuration. So, so it goes all the way up to an RTX 2080 Ti with an i9. Yes. Right? i9 so to maxed uh, out performance. Yes. Right. You got your PCI SSD. You can, you've got, I think, eight RAM slots. So as yes. much memory as you need for yes. gaming, editing, whatever. Yeah. And of course, in the future, you when a new GPU comes out, you can upgrade it upgrade. yourself. Or you can even even do the SLI. Oh, you, it, it supports SLI yes. as well. So it's got space below. Yes. You can throw in another Zotac yes. GPU. Yes. That's amazing stuff, guys. So um, any words for our viewers at home, Deepak? Sure, I would like to say them, please join us at 2 o'clock on unveiling of these PCs. Apart from we also have one more, the mm -hmm. backpack for VR Go. Oh yeah, there's a backpack. Yes. So earlier, we, we you know, I think sometime last year we saw uh, a Zotac VR Go backpack. Yes. It was portable, but it was still a backpack size. Yes. Now, if I remember, it's smaller and can fit inside my backpack. Yes, yes. It's, it's amazing. It's very really small and now. It's got RGB now. A bit RGB. It's got full yes. RGB. We'll show that to you guys on the stage showcase in a little bit. Yes. So uh, thank you so much, Deepak, for taking out thank the time you, for us. Uh, this was, I think, our last stop now, Nikhil. Yeah. Thank you, Nikhil. Right. Thanks, so Deepak. that is everything, Gamer. Can I, oh no, one more, one more. Let's not forget. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's not forget. We've got a full indie showcase. Now the development scene is getting quite interesting in India with people shifting their focus from mobile to a lot more PC titles. But there's still not a platform where they can showcase it to gamers. Hmm. There's the Game Developers Conference, there's a conference where they meet publishers, uh, industry conferences, but nothing for gamers. This gives game, uh, game developers a platform to not only showcase their game, but get a lot of valuable feedback. It's, it's always about the feedback, because they're all like early access games or in development phase, and you need the gamers to tell you, hey, I don't like this part of it, or hey, change this level up or the graphics, this mechanic. Uh, anything as simple as that. Every single like point or every single feedback helps because they can tweak the game and then when they get a bunch of more feedback they're gonna just like fine fine line the game and then games like Raji come out mm -hmm. impressive like you know that's a lot, a lot of feedback of great stuff too right out from India a lot of publishers opening and that's the thing was well. so underrated and this sort of platform allows to like get the message out there saying hey we do have some very talented developers and you know we do do need these big studios big publishers to come down, pick them up, and I mean, we can make games too, <laughs> pretty Actually, much So, there. you know, we've got Ogrehead Studios, we've got Gamersum, and we've got Holy Cow Productions. Uh, they put up some great games here, uh, so we've got a lot for gamers to experience. Uh, you know, if you don't like one thing, uh, you can definitely go try another. There's so much. A little bit of wait, it's getting crowded now, but, and you know, you can still come and enjoy a lot of stuff. And one more thing we forgot was the workshops. Oh yeah. We we did speak about it with Venom, but mm. we're also doing a bunch of workshops this time. Another cool addition to Gamer Connect. Right? We've never had workshops before, but we thought, hey, you know, a lot of people have questions. Uh, some go unanswered because of the crowd. Why not have a dedicated space mm -hmm. for it? And we're having workshops which cater to e building esports, e uh, streaming careers, game and we've got game developers as well. And that kind of helps again because there's, there's a close modding. Yeah. Workshop on choosing the right path for your PC. It's amazing. It's like a full closed door session where you get every single one of your questions answered, and hopefully, you know, that helps too. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's a wrap. We've yeah. spoken about the whole event, we've covered a lot of square feet. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've done a lot of steps too, right? Yeah, there's, I'm at about 8,946 steps since I got here, 3,000 of which were right now. <laughs> So it's been amazing, guys, bringing you the whole show flow. A big shout out to ACT Act uh, that provided high speed internet. I think two dedicated gigabit lines for the entire venue. Everything is up and running flawlessly. So we're super happy with that. Uh, big thanks to all our partners. Of course, Dell Alienware, LG, Zotac, uh, Logitech, Corsair, Western Digital. Uh, and of course, all the modders and developers that have come together to put on this show. You guys can still be a part of it. Follow us online on Facebook, Instagram. GamerConnect.in or NVIDIA GeForce India, you're going to see a lot of content both places. But if you're in Bangalore, I do insist, try and make time and attend the event. You will not regret it. Yeah, because it is a two-day event, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the, the last Gamer Connect is usually a two-day event. So today is 15th, day yeah. one, and tomorrow is Sunday. So and if you're in Bangalore, yeah, on both days. two different activities. So come both days. Come both days, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you did miss first day, make sure you wake up. Yep. You know, be here early, otherwise it's going to be like super crowded. Because Sunday, I have a feeling it's just going to be nuts. I think it's going to be off the clock. 
Thank you guys so much for joining us. I'm Captain Arya with me, Nikhil SK Brutality. It's been a pleasure bringing you everything Game & Connect Bangalore has to offer, and we look forward to seeing you, a lot of you, at the venue. Like a wrecking ball